We had a record turnout on Sunday. Pretty, pretty good uh, numbers there. Yes, the numbers speak, to the, uh, speak for themselves. We had more than 71% turnout, 2.9 million people voting. Uh, and uh, really, this has been seen as a kind of barometer, a referendum, really, on the uh, Carolam government, uh, on the protests that have been ongoing so far, this highly, highly politicized background uh, that these elections have taken place against. You know, things very different this time around, because usually district council elections are pretty low key. And in fact, many people don't bother voting. But really, the turnout this time shows that the sentiment has changed and people want to voice their opinions in this democratic process. Now, we do have, at last count, we've been reporting that the pro-democracy camp took 201 seats, according to local press, the South China Morning Post. That is seven times more than the pro-establishment camp. In Hong Kong, broadly speaking, there are two main camps, pro-democracy, uh, which is made up of a lot of disparate groups, uh, pro-Beijing or pro-establishment, again, made up of lots of groups, but uh, this is a far more established, a larger grouping of uh, of uh, political parties here and there's a handful of independents and those who haven't stated their uh, political preference but this time around really a huge push by both sides but we have seen the pro uh, pro democracy camp uh, winning many more seats at this point in the counting the counting has not finished yet though okay Ros the uh, people have spoken then uh, but would Beijing listen to what they have to say is this going to change the picture at all in terms of those weeks of street protests that we've seen Well, this is the big question. What will the government do with the results from this election? It cannot be a huge surprise to them if the pro-democracy camp do win more votes because traditionally speaking, when there is a high turnout and also, of course, against this highly politicized environment, it would not be a surprise for pro-democracy uh, lawmakers, uh, district councillors to take the majority here. But uh, the question is whether Carrie Lam, whether Beijing will listen. Now, what many pro pro-democracy, uh, uh, many pro-democracy in, in that camp are looking for are, is political reform, a way to get genuine, what they call genuine universal suffrage. The question is, how will they approach that? Because there were attempts to have political reform in the past. Back in 2014, there were suggestions of how they could change the electoral process in Hong Kong, and those were roundly uh, rejected by the pro-democracy camp. So now the time comes for uh, a discussion about what Form, political reform will take going into the future if that is to be discussed at all.